An Enchanting Story. Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Is It Worth Buying? Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Papo and Yo. Uh, it's relatively new on Steam. Um, anyway, I think you'll really like it. It's, it's a very, very unique game, honestly. Um, I really have not seen a whole lot of them that, that do this in exactly the way this game does. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. And this is a very interesting beginning to a game, too, that, that sentence that's on screen right now. You are transformed as soon as it loads here <laughs> into here. All right. Don't know if you saw on that, but you'll see here shortly that person that was running ahead of me. And the one thing I really like about this game is how fluid it is, honestly. It's so easy just to jump around and have fun. Alright. So there's a lot of different stuff that you can interact with. I haven't quite figured out how to interact with this, honestly. Um, I'm assuming maybe you can come back and interact with it, but this is definitely uh, able to interact with. So, check this out. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's go up here. Oops, come on. Oye, Kiko. <laughs> anyway, at least at the beginning, I think the idea is that you're supposed to chase that. And these are so neat. Um, does this box remind you of anything when I do this? Um, I'm just going to leave it on for the moment. Think of another game that, that has a box in it. I'll give you time to think about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright. Let's go ahead and push this in. And that'll interact with another part of the puzzle over here. So, this is kind of a platform puzzler, sort of. But you really can't define this game, honestly. It's not, it's not one specific thing, honestly. It's like it's trying to tell you a story. It's a puzzle game. It's sort of a platformer, but it's in 3D. There's just not a genre that actually fits directly into, honestly. Um, it's really hard to game to describe, honestly. Until you've played it yourself, it's it's really hard to describe. Ooh, another thing I can interact with. Excellent. This should just go up in here. Yay. And I haven't quite figured out exactly what these are for, but if you jump down here, 
Check this out. There's a little teddy bear tied up by himself. And in multiple levels, there's one of them in there. Um, or I guess I should say multiple different parts. Because it's really hard to actually distinguish um, where different parts of the level are, honestly. And where it ends. All right. As soon as I press these gears in, if I remember correctly, the person disappears because you don't see him anymore. And let me see if I look up. Yep, see they disappeared. Now, that uh, made a string come out here, which I could grab, but I want to actually show you something else. So I'm going to run after this over here. Let's see if I can catch one here. Oh, yay! <laughs> Check this out. You can actually carry them around. So, let's see here. I'll drop them off over here. And I'm going to grab this again. Or, grab it for the first time, I should say. I've played it through this game a little bit before, so... Alright, now let's grab you again. Come on. Yay. Alright, I'm just going to take him with me. I didn't do this last time. I'm just doing this as kind of an experiment this time. Oh. Person is disappearing again. Still haven't quite figured it out. I want to say that's like his sister or something like that. But I don't know for sure. The story doesn't explain it, at least in the first couple of levels. So... And besides that, you can play it and figure it out for yourself, too. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna drop the frog off here. Interesting. He just stays there. Alright, well. Check this out. So I'm gonna grab this right here. And that picks up the house over there. And the objective here, basically, for this puzzle is to drop them down in these squares. But I want to show you something else. Uh, in each section, and pretty much every puzzle that you do, I can't guarantee you every puzzle because I haven't played through the whole game. Um, let's see, each one of these interacts with the house that's over there. Alright, we're almost there. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Let's try that again. Much better. Alright. Now let's see here. There we go. Alright, I don't know if I put these close enough together. Oh, I did actually. Sweet. Uh, let me see, did I get this close enough to this one? No, I did not. And see, all that, all that happens is that you get a little bit wet if you, um, if you end up falling down there, so not a huge deal. Alright, let's see. That's about the closest I'm going to be able to get, I think. Unless I take the house. Oh, no, can't do that. Alright, let's see, let's drop the house here. Then we're going to take this one and move it back as far as it'll let me. And... There we go. Alright, sweet. Let's try that again. Oh, nope, still not close enough. I know that I had these configured at one time close enough. But if you look there, you'll see that there's another teddy bear tied up. So, there's, like I said, one in each level thereabouts. Um, just seems like a, like a hidden thing you're supposed to find in each one. 
So let's get these all in order here. I think I got those spaced a little bit too far apart. Yep, pretty sure of that actually. Alright, let's grab him. Ah, They won't let me take him any further. Bummer. Well, oh well. Oops. Alrighty then. Let's give a little bit more space. Just a tad bit more. There we go. Yeah, it's too bad I can't take him with me. Let's see, if I set him down here, and jump up, and grab... Nope, can't do that. Alright. Let's see if we can bridge the gap. Alright, let's see the person has disappeared again that I was chasing after. Alrighty. And here we have another puzzle. All right, let's see what we can do here. I like that each puzzle in this game is slightly different from the other one. Now, that key that we just did, look here. Every... Okay, so first of all, by standing there, that opens the gate over here. Um, and then if I get off of it, it will slowly undo itself, and then that gate will close over there. Um, now what's neat about these keys is, check this out. This is so neat. I don't know what I find so enthralling about this game, but it's just I, I like the little things that they put into it, like like that. And then, like you can actually stand on top of the house while it's moving around too. All right. Well, I don't want to spoil too much more of the story for you, honestly. But I wanted to give you a, at least a general idea of what the game was like to play. Um, so in answer to the question, is it worth buying? I would say yes, honestly, on this one. Um, I really like the graphic design. Um, so far, and, and I've actually played a little bit further than this, I really like the story. Um... And I just, I like the puzzle aspect of it. I really, really like that. Um, and it's it's not like a normal puzzle game. I mean, where it, it kind of tries to do the same puzzles over. It's like, it's it changes it up each time, even if it's kind of similar. But I, I haven't seen any puzzle that's like I, exactly identical to another one, honestly, yet in this game. So, um, they just have the same general concepts to each other. So, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the review today. Uh, if you have any further questions on the game, just leave it down in the comments. Um, I plan to play actually through this the whole way uh, at some point. And beyond that, um, that's, that's pretty much it in terms of the review. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to help me improve or have ideas for future videos, leave it in the comments below or send it to techandtextproductions at gmail.com.